Hello and welcome to this section of the Circuit Analysis Tutor. Uh, in this section what I'd like to do before getting into a lot of math and theory that we're going to be getting into the subsequent sections is I'd like to take a break for a second and really give you a general overview of the various components that you'll eventually come into contact with when you start studying circuits. A lot of these components you won't see uh, for a long, long time in different courses that you're going to take as you go on and study more and more about circuits. But a lot of them you've actually heard of in everyday conversation, but you may not have been quite sure what exactly they were. So what I want to do is give you a little bit of motivation here. We're not going to have any math in this section. We're going to just kind of discuss and talk about the circuit components that are most common that you've heard of and just kind of give you a big picture overview of what they do. So that as we go study them in detail here in the subsequent sections, you'll kind of have an idea of what, where we're going with this because that's really important for you to understand the big picture. So the first thing is the simplest thing, the thing that you have to have for every single circuit to work. You have to have some kind of power source. Uh, and so in all of your circuits, we've even drawn a few circuits already, you see that drawn as either a battery or some kind of circle with a plus minus in there. And that's just telling you that that's where the energy or the, the electrons really, that where they're coming from. And so we call that a source, uh, an, an electrical source. And that source could take on a lot of different forms. It could be a little battery that you buy at the store right? Uh, lots of different sizes, the, the AAAs, the AA's, the D size, and so on. Your car battery is physically larger. Uh, by the way, your car battery is physically larger because it has to push a lot of current out in order to get that, that, the energy into the motor to start the car. So that's why it's physically larger because it has to deliver a lot of current. Those little bitty batteries may have a similar voltage, but they're not physically large enough to push a lot of that current out. And that's why they're, they're, you don't need that in those applications. So that's why those batteries can be smaller. But a large, physical large battery can actually deliver some oomph, some, some actual current. Uh, so what we're going to do is label this uh, as we go down. We'll talk about these most important circuit components. So the first one is what we call a source voltage. And a lot of times, it's really just a battery. But in electric circuits, it really doesn't matter exactly where the power comes from. I mean, you get into that when you actually build the circuit. But, um, you know, from a theory point of view, it doesn't really matter as long as it has a certain voltage and it can push current out of it. We call it a source voltage. So the most common thing you're going to see in a classroom environment for to draw or denote a source is a circle like this, right? Now, inside that circle is going to be plus minus and we've kind of talked about that a little bit, and you'll have a label somewhere over to the side, or maybe it's even inside. Maybe this is 20 volts, 20 V. And we've already talked about that. The units of a voltage, I mean, I'm just going to be kind of clear about this. The units, when you're talking about a source voltage, is volts. And I'm going to put in parentheses V. So this is volts, but just keep in mind that if you have a really teeny tiny source, you might be talking about millivolts or microvolts or nanovolts or something really, really small. If you have a very large source, very high voltage, you might have kilovolts or megavolts or even gigavolts or something like that. So you're using the metric system, but the base unit, I should say, this is the base unit. The base unit is the volt, all right? Now, we've most of the time in, your, in a class, you'll see your source written like this. It'll have a circle, plus minus. We've already kind of discussed that. I've given you a little bit of the details of, of, of what this really means. Basically, your current in, in, the ter in terms of real life, the electrons in real life are coming out of this negative terminal and going back around through your circuit to the positive. But we already talked about the theory there. In reality, when we're drawing all of our currents, when we're doing all of our 